Now, in this lecture, I'm going to really briefly talk about something called the partial pressure equilibrium constant. Now, I'm not going to go into much detail about this guy because I just want you to be aware that this guy exists. Now, if reactants and products are both in the gas state, we can still use the equilibrium constant and the expression for our equilibrium constant, but now we have to incorporate the partial pressures of our gases. For example, suppose we have the following reaction in which gas A reacts with gas B to produce gas C and gas D, where lowercase a, b, c, and d are the coefficients of each respective atom that represent the moles of each atom. For example, lowercase a number of moles of A gas reacts with B number of moles of B gas produces C number of moles of C gas and D number of moles of D gas. Now our equilibrium constant for this gaseous reaction is the following. Our equilibrium constant Kp <coughs> is equal to the partial pressure of our C, of our gas product C to the C power. Now that's lowercase c. Maybe I should represent it with the black marker. So lowercase c times the partial pressure of D gas to the D coefficient. So D exponent divided by the partial pressure of this gas A to the A, lowercase a power times uh, the partial pressure of our B reactant our gas to the B, lowercase b power. And this is our equilibrium constant expression for gaseous reactions. So it's almost the same, but it's different in that now we're using partial pressures and not concentrations.